three years ago, I was in Pakistan studying medicine, and now I make my money online by making men come. Hello, Lopez. How you doing? Can you hear and see me okay? Hi, Big. Hi, Alex. Welcome to the show, boys. We've got over 100 people in the chat right now. 22-year-old Maya has been coming from her bedroom for the last two years. <gasps> oh, my tip toy is basically this like little pink vibrator that stays inside my pussy the entire time that I'm coming. Mm, my boobs are coming out at 50 girls, by the way. We are currently at 18. People can basically send me gold, which is like the currency on the campsite, in order to make that toy vibrate. So it's like completely connected via Bluetooth. One of the more taboo fetishes that I specialize in is race play. <laughs> I get a lot of actual like Asian clients and they'd be like, this is so incredibly kinky. I'm not meant to be saying this to you, but here I am, my family don't know I'm doing this. You can't help but make your dick so hard as you stare at these perfect Pakistani tits. It was incredibly isolating, obviously having the upbringing that I did being from a Pakistani household, a really a tight Islamic household, it was even more isolating. I'm such a good Muslim girl, so devout to my religion, and now I'm just a horny slut, desperate to corrupt Indian cocks like you. In order to provide more for her family, Maya has significantly increased her hours on cam, but the high earnings come at a bigger cost. I have started to feel like I'm working a bit too much recently. Like, I can feel like my body's much more tired. I feel much more drained. I find it incredibly difficult to switch off. I mean, I can't think of the last time where I actually sat down and wasn't thinking about work. It's like a constant, almost 24-7 hustle. And it is really, really tiring. Oh. Like, everything's just kind of getting on top of me. Like, I'm constantly putting myself out there, constantly doing really intense sessions. I'm not a sex robot. Like, I feel like there is some sort of disconnection sometimes between a lot of the people I talk with, that they think that just because I'm on the internet, I don't really exist. Beep, beep, cricket. You do get the sort of people that come into my free chat, especially, who are disrespectful, downright racist, downright just horrible, horrible people to talk to. And I feel like that plays a massive point in where I start getting burnt out, um, where I'm just like, well, all I'm de doing is dealing with all day, who are telling me I'm fat, that I need to lose weight. There's only so many times I can come. There's only so many times I can sit there and f my pussy before it actually starts hurting a lot.